screen capture right from the app. Now? Hello, everyone. Yes. Live? Yes. Yeah, okay, now tell me if you guys, if you can see my screen. Hello, everyone. Live. Boom. Okay. Can you see my screen? I don't know, it's a little bit... Uh, disclaimer, go live. <laughs> can you see my screen? I don't know, it's a little bit... Uh, Disclaimer, go live. <laughs> You're clicking. You seeing start broadcast? Yep. Yes. So now you can see my screen? Oh, guys. Go on your trading chart. Yeah, I can see all your chats. Yes. Let's see the master for time to remove money from... Da -da -da. Yeah, you, goes, you guys can all see me? Mm. Nice, I'm here with Slavik. Again, successful trade make. Woohoo! I'm right now, I'm a short again. Nice. Okay, can you see my screen? Again. Nice. Okay, can you see my screen? Can you see my screen? No? Wait. Testing if you can see my screen. Hold on. Yeah. Nice. Yes. Okay, we're live. So, and then I can jump to the chat. So, guys, could you see my screen just now? Golden ears. Awesome. Okay, I'm here with Slavic. You can see my screen. We're going to go live. This is cool. But I can't see your chats when I switch to the screen, so that's not so nice. But let's do some trading, guys. You can ask me questions. So this is Bitcoin 15-minute charts. We're getting a little bit of a bounce We're in this channel, but on the, I found something very cool with Bitcoin that I want to show you guys. This is the Bitcoin USD index. So this is Bitcoin um, on all exchanges. And you can see something very interesting here. So this was the 2018 crash, right? when we went from 18, 19,000 all the way down to 3,000. And that correction was 84%. And now you can see this chart where we went from 69,000, 69 on the day we hit here, on the 8th of November, we hit 68,900, and we're down now 71%. So if we go the same drop as last time, 84%, that will put us here. 84% at $10,700, which also happens to line up perfectly with this support line here. You see this 10,000. So there's a, this is a big indicator that if we have the same correction, it's just something very interesting. And the major support, if, if we were just to look at this chart without like anything, anything extra, just looking at the support, there's a support here, which we're sitting on right now at 2019,000, the previous all time high. And then the support, which, which happened here, you can see that this is one support line. And the next support line is actually all the way down here at this, this $10,600 area, which exactly lines up with that 84% drop. So hopefully we don't have that drop. And if we go into the hourly, now what we're doing, I'm doing is just very short term trades. So now I'm doing a lot of short term trades on Bitcoin um, during this time, because until Bitcoin chooses a decision, it's not that good to be doing like any, any long term. You can buy spot positions, but going long or short, now is not the best. CRV failed. Yeah, CRV hit the stop loss. Let's read some. Damn, it's really going lower than 10K. It's got a chance. I've got a long at the moment from 20,700. I'm on spot there. Beautiful people. Um, it looks like, JD, that we're going lower to 10K. CRV failed. You move, unless I, I, CRV hit my stop loss. It lost $37 from 100. Yeah, I did. I saw this Richard Hart's post. He wasn't the only one to say that Bitcoin was going to drop. I also said on November 11th, that that was the top, but he predicted 10K back then. So let's go, James. Hi, Crypto Minute Run. Good to see you. Do you guys have any questions? You want me to analyze any cryptocurrencies, any altcoins? And on Bitcoin right now, mm, I would actually stochastic turning up on the hourly, four hourly, but going long here is a little bit dangerous. I actually closed my long on Bitcoin in, I think, negative $40. Stochastic is still turning up on the hourly, on the four hourly, and on the 15 minutes. So we can have a little pump, but the problem is there's so much fear in the markets. Any pump, um, I mean, we could get this. We've got a little bit of an inverse head and shoulders here. 
that's forming, which if it breaks the neckline could send us up to around this resistance, 21,800. But right now, you got to, if you're going to do trading, it's got to be very tight, like very small trades, very tight stop losses, and just being very careful. On the 15 minutes, like we could open a trade here on Bybit. Um, right now, actually, if it can break through this, this support, this resistance, making a very tight stop, like just underneath this resistance, and the take profit up here at this target. So it's a 2.45 ratio trade. We'd open the trade at 28,700. Let's do it live. Let's set this trade live right now. And the stop loss, if it fails to bounce, we just it instantly hits the stop loss. I'll do a hundred dollar trade with like 20 X leverage targeting this resistance here. So this will be the trade that I take opening it now, 28,000, 20,800. Maria's here also. You have to show for good views. Guys, Maria's here. Oh, now the views will be increased. Now views going to the moon. It says attempt. Now Maria is here. Now views to the moon. Hundred <laughs> percent. Attempting to reconnect. What? What's up? Guys, we're back. How long, How long was, did you see my charts where I was saying yeah. to open a trade on Bitcoin? How long was it disconnected for? Ahmed says hello, Maria. Guys, were you able to see my charts where I want to open this trade on Bitcoin? Oh, no. Oh, okay, never left. Beautiful. Okay, where I would open the trade, I'm going to open this trade very quickly. So this one here on Bitcoin. So opening it now, stop loss at 20,763. So let's open it over on Bybit. If you want to trade on Bybit, um, using underneath this video, you can use this Bybit link. You join the $8 million trading competition. So let's win it. So we've got to do very small trades. So I'm going to open a trade right now with 20x leverage, but very tight stop losses. These are very risky, everyone. So be careful of that. So opening a trade right now, I'll do just a hundred. So it's a hundred dollar cost, but two thousand dollar trade, and opening it at twenty thousand eight hundred and fifty. Twenty thousand eight hundred and fifty. Hopefully you can see this, and the take profit is going to sit at twenty one thousand one hundred and sixty. One sixty, and the stop loss will be twenty thousand seven hundred and sixty three. So risking $8, okay, we make it a little bit less, we'll risk more. Risking $15, let's do more, 600 Risking $25 to make $31 only. It's not so good, but it's a it's a 20x leverage trade, so it's a $2,000 trade, but it's just too tight. Okay, let's open that long. So that trade is now set, it will execute at 20850 20, so in $25. But it's only going to be a quite a small trade. Let's see if you guys saw this potential trade. See, it says connection problems attempting such a... Congrats, you made $30. It will be a very tiny trade, but it's on $100. So that's 30%, right? Which is still pretty good. But right now, that's all... Did I leave? Could you guys see this trade that I set on Bybit? Because for me, it shows that it disconnects and then reconnects again. It showed the trade over on Bybit as well. Okay, beautiful. It just shows it for some reason that it disconnected. Yeah, that's the trade that I set just now. So this is the trade, 20,850, and it's a very small take profit actually. Like if it actually executes, it's gonna take profit at 21,160. But it's still, so it's risking $24 to make $30. It's very small actually, but 30%. But why is it's only a $21 isolated limit trade? That's for Bitcoin. So we can do these little trades, but it would be better to get a bigger stop, but as you, a bigger take profits. But as you can see, Bitcoin's got this resistance here. So setting anything higher than here, I mean, it can pump to this, but it's hard to actually set. But this looks like an inverse head and shoulders, in my opinion. So that should take us the base of the, the head, which would be this distance here. So that would give us a tra trade that will take us to 22,200, which is not bad. That distance there, 22,200, will be here. It's a 4.73%, but with 20x leverage, that's almost 80% trade. Oh, the, the, the trade is actually opened, but I'm going to change the take profit to 22,000. Let's do it quickly. 22,215. That's better. Then it's risking $24 to make $133. Confirmed. 
So that little trade is set, that's the target, and then I'm just gonna set alert. So if this actually hits, add alert at that price. If it hits, it will just alert me to that trade for Bitcoin. So this will be little target on an inverse head and shoulders with stochastic and RSI turning up. So what I'm expecting is we play out something like this, but very, see what I'm doing? Very small trades that line up with the stochastic and the RSI being oversold as well. Now let's go to, go to Ethereum or does anyone have any requests? Good way to learn short and long. You're welcome. Can you do a TA on BitDAO? Yes. Let's do BitDAO. Um, Chingzi. I'll do BitDAO now. It's unknown time frame, but with an inverse head and shoulders, it should play out almost straight away or hit the stop loss. So it should be doing it within the next few hours. Beautiful, Stephen. I recommend taking it so you learn what I'm doing. It's 12 lessons, epic production. The first course I had, the stock course, sold 1.1 million or 1.5 million. I can't remember. And I filmed that very, very low production with just my mobile phone, but amazing knowledge. The crypto course also done, it's more than 500,000, like 6,000 students. And that one was done with very high production. Okay, let's check out Luna. This is cool. Now you guys can ask me. Okay, I'll do what, BitDAO what first. To watch on Luna, Luna. Yeah, <laughs> Luna. Luna, not zero, so good. Zero, but it's actually zero, zero, like, you know, like, Luna 2. <laughs> wow, BitDAO is just falling. It's trying to find support here, but look at this drop. My God, so, so it fell out of this wedge. Yeah, we all have a million Luna now. Luna whales. <laughs> okay, this is BitDAO. BitDAO I actually like, but... Okay, we broke out of this downtrend, which is nice. Stochastic RSI all turning to head up. Also, squeeze mob also turning towards green. This could be actually good for BitDAO. On the hourly, we're also heading up. So we could do a little bit of a... We've also seen this on the 15 minutes, we're also seeing an inverse head and shoulders. Look at that, same as Bitcoin almost. But it's a bit, the chart on BitDAO is a little bit wonky, but we've also got this inverse head and shoulders. It doesn't give, I'm not seeing a direct pattern, but a little bit of an inverse head and shoulders, which is the head would be this distance here. So very small movement it will take us to 43 cents, but it's too small of a movement. But the big resistance is actually here. But again, this all, it can only move with Bitcoin. So it can only, if only if Bitcoin starts going up, can we get a bit of a movement? But that 42 cents to 44 cents is almost, that's a 5% that's a pump. With 10x leverage, that's 50%. 7 point, 78, 785,000 Luna. So Luna, yes, let's do it. Thank you, Wade. I have taken his course. I highly recommend it. I learned a lot. Let's check out Solana. I like Solana. Solana is getting to like, it used to be $240 on Solana. Now 31, up 5%. Sorry, sorry. No, no problem. Okay, Solana, let's check it out. On the four hourly also. Okay, if I zoom out on Solana, big pump from the bottom. Solana came to $26, which is like 20% off the bottom already. But look at this, it fully erased the whole movement that Solana had from the beginning of the year, from 20, from here, 2021. From $23 all the way back to $23. Look at that. From $23 all the way to 200 and 200 and what is that? 261 and then all the way back down and big bounce here with a lot of volume. But look at this. Look at the volume picking up here. That's actually really bullish for Solana. Now, big resistance for Solana is here at the $37, but that's about 20% movement with 10x leverage. That's 200% movement. And we've got it, we're above this weekly support, which is actually quite bullish. You could do a really nice trade here. This is actually a long potential for Solana. Um, opening a trade here, stop loss below the weekly and daily support, and the take profit here at this resistance, which is a 14% movement to the upside. 14% with 10x leverage, that's 140% movement. So it's actually a really nice trade on Solana. Um, and very tight stop loss, so you don't risk much. If you want, you can also set the stop loss below the weekly. So you're risking, it's a four ratio trade, risking one to make 4.65, which is epic. If you want, I'll show you those. So this is the entries. So you can look at the entries. See on the side, you can see the entries here. So we've got here, 36. You can see the numbers where the entry is. So this line is the take profit, $36.20. So that's what you would set over on Bybit, right? So if you wanted to open Solana and you were doing a leverage trade, so 
and I teach all this also in the course. So Soul USD, you can open a long, um, you could open a long on Soul like that. So opening it where we are, stop loss at $30, $30 cents, and take profit at $36. Or well, actually take, yeah, $36. Do you guys want me to set the trade so I can show you how on Bybit? Yep, I'll check out Matic. What do you do if your average is down 60% DCA? That's a good question. Um, I would be careful. I would DCA very slowly for alts. Don't go putting a lot into alts very quickly. That's my recommendation. Because alts right now, it's very dependent on what Bitcoin can do. It's better just to do very tight. Stop loss is very like fast trades. Your course is amazing. I've learned so much already. Thank you, Fatima. Can you do? Can you check Matic, please? Yes. Um, did everyone see that soul trade? Like the take profit, the stop loss, because that's the trade setup. Let's do Litecoin, Nick. I wouldn't hold on to Litecoin. Litecoin's been around for a long time, but no one uses it. The whole point of Litecoin in the beginning was that you couldn't really move Bitcoin around much. So why would why would it be Litecoin get popular? Because it's very expensive to move Bitcoin around when the prices were high. So now Litecoin, it's kind of like, um, it's not necessary because you have exchanges, you have USTD, USDT to move money around. Yes, let's check out Doge and then Matic. I'm buying only at the moment Bitcoin. I'm trying to stack as much Bitcoin near the bottom. Because if you think about it, like a lot of people wanted to buy Bitcoin at 69K. Bitcoin eventually, in my opinion, will be $10 million per Bitcoin. So buying it when it's so cheap right now, I've already bought nine Bitcoin over on Binance. So I'll show you, I've started on Bybit. I've got in here, this Bitcoin trade is around down 10%. See, $100 trade down $10, 10%. 20 X leverage, it's down, it's 5%, but with 20 X leverage, it's it's like compounded. So Bitcoin, I've got two Bitcoin in here and over on Bybit, which is on Binance, I've got in here, this is 285,000 up 3,000 today. I've got 9.2 Bitcoin in here. So I'm starting to buy Bitcoin down here. Um, I'm stacking Doge, Elon fraud laws. I like Doge. Elon, like if you like Doge at 75 cents, which we didn't, we bought it at three cents back two years ago, one and a half years ago. Now it's erased all that gain, but it's still got all that popularity. Um, but I'll show you where supports are for Doge. Okay, let's do a vote. Guys, post which which altcoin you want me to look at. Doge, Ada, because there's a lot of different ones. Luna, Engine, what's the most requested? Engine's been around for a long time. They're a play to earn kind of um, gaming system. Egold is a nice project. It's a it's a blockchain that's being used quite a lot. And question in last live, so the same question. Okay, I asked the same question in your last live, so here's the same question. Okay, Lauren, let me know. Doge, Doge. Okay, let's do Doge. Lauren, I'll let you ask the question quickly. Doge, Doge is the most requested, guys. So I'm going to check that out. Okay, let's jump into Doge. So, yeah, this is the Solana trade that I'll take. I'll show you just what you can screenshot it right now if you want. That's the Solana trade that I'd be taking. Stop loss is on the side. You can see the stop loss, the take profit. So the, here is the take profit. Here is where the trade would open, which it's already up a little bit since we made that video, since we did that trade. And here is the stop loss below the weekly support. Let's go into Doge. Doge is at five cents, crazy. Also fully, er look at this everyone, fully erased the entire COVID run up. Look at that. It, we, if you remember my videos back when we were trading Doge and buying Doge, that was a long time ago. Um, and we had that big pump all the way to the Saturday Night Live and I was live with all of you on Saturday Night Live and we went up to 75 cents. And I was, remember, buy the rumor, sell before the news? That played out perfectly. My God, slowly just bled the entire way. We bought it at three cents, three or four cents back then. So we're almost back, in, back to February 2021, which is crazy. Remember when I was in Thailand Villa when we, we bought Doge? I, I bought it at that time in February. Um, here is the support for Doge, a really strong one. But to be honest, this stuff is going into the negative without buying pressure and a lot of holders. Most people won't sell it now. Um, okay, that's in the long term, that's a good support to buy on Doge. If we were short term trading, it's forming a little bit of a W formation here. So target would be 63 cents. 
So you can do a trade, a long on Doge, if you're opening like a long position, stop loss below the daily, just very, and, and if you, it's a very, like you're only risking like two cents, like 3.84% to make 12%. So if you did a $100 trade and you did say 10x leverage, you'd risk $30 to make 120%. So you'd risk $30 to make $120. That's the trade that I would take on Doge. So opening it now, actually in the last four hours, I'd open it, let's see, on the hourly. It's turning down, so I wouldn't open it now, Doge. I would actually open it here because it's turning down, so we can do even tighter stop loss. This is the trade that I would set for Doge, which is nice. 5.2 ratio trade. For every dollar you're risking, $5 potent dollars potential gain. And then if you do 10x leverage, for every dollar risk, $10 risking, $50 of gain. So that's the trade I would take for Doge. I'll show you it again. 54 cents, op stop loss, 56 cents opening, 63 cents taking profit. Ron, I didn't buy any subscribers. It's normal. When you have bull markets, everyone subscribes, everyone joins. When you have bear markets, most of the people disappear and then they come back again at the top of the bull market, actually. Um, and most of my videos get actually 6K views, which is around 10%. It's still quite low though, but it's we're in a bear market. My video views dropped a lot since bear market, but that's okay. What do you think? I, I just show you what I do with my money over the long term. So I'll still be around for the next years. If you've been following me for two years, um, I'm in the short position on Doge. It's very short term. There's going to be some pullback like I just showed. Um, Bitcoin can go back under 20K, but I think someone's artificially holding up Bitcoin actually at 20K right now. Um, but Bitcoin, bear market tests, weekends, everyone disappears in bear markets, which is funny. Everyone in bull markets, they want to buy, right? Like they want to buy when Bitcoin's at 69K and they're like, oh, I wish I could have bought Bitcoin when it was lower, when it was 10K, 20K. Now we're at 10K, 20K, they all disappeared. Guess when they come back? They come back... Um, they come back when Bitcoin's at 69K and they want to buy it all again. So if you guys stay here during this time, this is the time you actually become rich. It's not in the top at 69K. Alpha Metro, to this day, I regret not listening to you in November. I know it's, it's very hard to pull out, but when you get, that's why if everyone was watching, I pull out very quickly at the tops because they can, you've seen now how badly they can drop. It was good to go all in cash then and just do trades. 10K is very possible. If it does, it will be very bad. Um, but 20K, in my opinion, is where we can hold. We talk a lot about BTCTA, but nobody talks about the threat of Craig, Wright, Craig Wright's court case against Coinbase. If he wins, we shift and trade BSV. If he wins, it will destroy the markets. If Coinbase actually has to close, like stop showing Bitcoin, it will be very, everyone should be against what Craig Wright is doing right now because it will destroy the, it will destroy the cryptocurrency markets. Um, it's very hard to pull out. That's what, she, that's what she said. If Craig Wright, everyone should be against Craig Wright. If you're like in any of the countries he's doing a, polit, like doing a court case, you got to write to your politicians and stuff because if he actually wins, which he could on legal technicalities, it will destroy all trust in Bitcoin. Binance will have to delist. Coinbase will have to delist. It will, it will be extremely bad. That's a very good question, Loren. And that's how... It, it's, if he does that, he will also destroy BSV. He'll destroy all crypto markets if Coinbase has to delist Bitcoin. And there's this, I've been following a lot what happened with Craig Wright and Adam Back. Adam Back. In my opinion, Adam Back created the current BTC. Um, Craig Wright created the white paper and he created BSV, but Bitcoin Satoshi Vision. Um, but what everyone trades right now and buys right now is BTC, Adam Back's Bitcoin. So... He doesn't really, he didn't really create the current Bitcoin. He created, I do believe he created the white paper though. I do believe he could be Satoshi. Um, same with the SEC versus Binance, exactly. I currently have five Bitcoin. Should I sell two Bitcoin and buy back or do you say how of low or spread cash at the moment? Low on spare cash at the moment. Okay, so I have currently five Bitcoin. If you don't have spare cash, I would, I would get, I would, you have to always do your due diligence, this is my opinion, but you have to make your own decisions, not financial advice. But me, I'm majority in cash. Like this nine Bitcoin you saw, the two Bitcoin. So 11, 12 Bitcoin. I have open position, 12 Bitcoin. I have some open positions on trades as well. But um, that's just a little bit of my money. I'm, I'm keeping a lot of it in case we drop down lower, which I think is going to happen. 
So 14K, 18K, 13K, 11K, this is where I'm gonna be buying heaps. Mark, I'm not Satoshi. I was in, I came in 2012. It was 2009 when they were talking about it, but I made a website, who made Bitcoin.org. You guys can go check it out and then decide yourselves who made it. 258 billion lawsuit against Elon announced today regarding Doge. I wouldn't be trying to sue Elon Musk. He's the richest, one of the richest men in the world. Suing him is not a good idea. Let's join these guys. And these are my trades that I have open right now. So I've got this Bitcoin trade, which is down. It's dropping Bitcoin at down $14, so very small. But the stop loss is at 20000 600 so the stop loss is very close hundred dollars and Bitcoin will hit that stop loss But it's a $30 risk to make 120 something. I've also got an uh, I made a Solana trade and then I'm just holding these alts BTC USDC Bitcoin to Bitcoin. That's all I'm holding right now um, Yeah, I, I think they wouldn't really you wouldn't want to go against Elon Musk in court case Can you do Sato? Um, I can try. I haven't seen Sato. Let's check it out. I actually hold Sato, actually, in one of my old accounts. I've got Sato that I never really looked at, which is funny. So this is Sato. Interesting. It got wiped as well. So support, we're on one major support, but the actual big support here on Sato is here. It's 40% drop from where we're sitting. It's trying to hold on on the weekly. It went up to around 10 cents. Now it's sitting at, well, it dropped a lot. So right now it dropped around, let's check how much it dropped. So Sato dropped wow, 92%, but that's a lot of the altcoins dropped 92%, unfortunately. We're sitting on a major support, but most likely it's gonna break. It's trying to hold here, but if Bitcoin doesn't hold, it will break. Um, target would be this five cents. That's where I would open a long on Sato or buy spot position, but be careful. Actually, the major support is here. There is the major support. And doesn't look yeah. like anything's holding it up right now, but we have a lot of support here currently. My biggest goal, um, me and Slavic are building a psychology app. So I think one of the biggest problems in the world right now is people's like psychology. Like they're having a lot of um, trauma. They don't have a therapist to talk to. So we're making an app right now where pretty much we want everyone in the world to be able to have a psychologist on their phone. That's one of the goals. What's your biggest goal, Slavic? In, in which area do you mean? In life. Huge question, but I I think uh, this psychology app which we are doing, this is really what uh, what really helps uh, everyone in the world. For example, uh, I want by myself to have a psychologist. Just, just I mean, uh, not because I'm crazy, not because I'm crazy. I don't know. <laughs> That's everyone says. Uh, but because uh, you know, really to help people, you know, and to 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 like. You know, it's like you have a personal trainer, but you don't have, to have a personal trainer for your mind. This is so stupid, you know. And um, in acting, I come from acting, in, in the USA, it's normal that they have a personal trainer in mind, you know, like a psychologist. Oh and shit, Bitcoin this, dropped this thing. What? Bitcoin dropped. Let's see if it hit my stop loss. Yep, it hit my stop loss. Oh, big drop. Oh, yes, look at this. Look at this. That was a $30 loss. Slavic is currently short yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah, I short it again. Yes, I always. Slavic's in profit. It's, I can't zoom in. You can't $333 is in profit right now. He went short at 20800 I, I, I have exactly a 15 minute pattern. Well, Bitcoin drop. 30%. Yeah, Bitcoin dropped 30% in the last week. Let's go closer. 15 minutes. That inverse head and shoulders is now invalidated. It didn't work. Look, inverse head and shoulders, gone. We dropped. It, so the target where we can hopefully find support is going to be here on the daily. This, this long is got stopped out. 
this long here. I wouldn't open a short here unless we can, if we, the, the thing is at 20k it's artificially held up. So if you open a long here, I mean a short, it can prop it up. So be careful there. Here is difficult time to be shorting. Slavic daily support is at 20,387. Wow, well, big drop on Bitcoin just now. The last 45 minutes from 20,900 down to 20,400. Uh, this was actually obvious to go short here on this resistance, 20,800. I made a mistake there. Now we have a, in the 15 minutes, we got a kind of trend line here. But it broke that trend line as well. And then we've got this big support. So we have a support on the daily here at 20,398. And then, well, we're very close to that 20K, but multiple times it's come down to that 20K and then held it. Let's see if it does it again. I got stopped out. But it's okay. I'm doing, now I'm just doing very small trades with very tight stop losses, very big take profits. James Doge dominance has been rising while Bitcoin dominance is dropping. Love. Sion, beautiful. Will MCRT recover in the long run? Well, MCRT, we're just building a game for the long term. Here's some designs of, from MCRT. The team is building amazing stuff. This is the one of the characters. Look at the quality of these. It's epic. This is the mage. This is some of your NFTs that are coming. Like the, These are the game character version of your NFTs. This is the warrior. So we're building the game and we're going to build it Play to earn games are just beginning. So in my opinion, yes, MCRT is going to be one epic freaking token. This is my favorite character, one of my favorites. Look at the detail. It's cool. Um, Bitcoin in sale. Yes, but make sure I've got buy orders going down a lot. I'm not acquiring any micro caps. My goal now is to buy as much Bitcoin as possible as we come down. I want to use all my money, like not all my money, but all my money for crypto. So like in here, that 3K profit just got wiped from that Bitcoin drop. In here, I want to keep accumulating Bitcoin as we come down. I've got buy orders at 18K, 13K, 10K, 13K. So I want to be buying as much Bitcoin as possible on multiple accounts as we come down. Let's check out eGold. E-Gold USDT on Binance. What's amazing is all coins are holding up a lot, huh? Even though Bitcoin's dropping so badly. Wow, e -Gold got decimated. Look at that. From 550 to... We're sitting on a major support for E-Gold again. It's actually below this support. So most likely we're going to get rejected here. Nice place to buy E-Gold would actually be here 18 dollars that's a nice place to buy eagle if bitcoin can hold 20k we can get a recovery and start moving up from here and then if bitcoin holds you can start buying but if not 18k would be a place to buy eagle it's just now sitting in no man's land there's no rec major supports here and on the four hourly it's oversold so it's coming down in the short term i would short eagle i would actually open a short on eagle Stop loss just before, take profit at the bottom. If Bitcoin's gonna drop here, this is the this is the trade I would take. Let's see, let's make it like that. But you have a daily support. That's the trade I would take on eGold. And then take the profit here. So it's, it's risking, this is the trade I would take on eGold. 2.51, risking $4 to make ten dollars so if it's 10x leverage it's 200 percent profit you could actually short eagle but the thing is if bitcoin bounces here you can have a big whiplash in all coins so best to be focused on trading bitcoin in my opinion because all coins can just very quickly if bitcoin has even a little bit of a bounce it's going to pump um love being here with you guys too ray James, is there any point selling Bitcoin have accumulated now with hope to buy it low in the next few months or hold it? I, me, I'm at least, I've got more cash on the side to buy more if we come down, but this isn't the time to sell Bitcoin. The time to sell Bitcoin was 
um, at 69k. Selling it now at 20k, max worst case in my opinion goes to 10k. So now is not the time to sell it. James, is any yeah? Yes, you can sign up to Bybit. Um, if you already have an account, I'm not sure about that. You'd need to check with Bybit, but the link in the description and pinned comment down below. If you sign up, you join our trading competition. Everyone, make sure you join this trading competition. There's eight million people uh, dollars prize pool, and you join our team. And our goal is to become the best trading team on Bybit. So make sure under the video down below you get join that trading pool. Cake held on really well, actually, from nine dollars to three dollars. Um, cake is a good one, but unless Bitcoin, you need to see what Bitcoin does. If it can hold twenty k. Then you can start buying alts. If it doesn't, it's going to drop a lot. UFO Gaming. This, I don't know. I've never seen this Den Gallo. Is it a new project? Bear market, in my opinion, bear market is going to last. If Bitcoin can hold 20K, we can get a very big recovery. If it breaks 20K, then we have a long bear market. One year, even. So, I think this is very important times. But I wouldn't be selling that much stuff now. Like now I'm looking to buy things as it comes down more. Like selling at the top, buying down the bottom. Abdi, hey James, you're amazing. Thank you so much, Abdi. I always see your comments. Your comments are the best, Abdi. I love them. Keep going, James. Good content. Thank you, Skywalker. Um, time to take a small long. On which project? Let's look at Bitcoin again. 20,400. Why I'm being careful with Bitcoin is this, this what I talked about, this potential drop. It's It's really... It can come down to 10k just like 84 percent if we do the same drop that we had and it's very similar feeling as in 2018 2017 18 84 percent drop on bitcoin but i don't think it'll be that bad this time but it's possible and if we just look at support resistance we have a very big support on bitcoin here is a very big support also at 13,000. so make sure you set i'm going to be buying some here at 13,677. if it comes down that much I think they can hold it at 20k, but let's see. Bro, are you in a chart pattern? 15 W on the time frame. Okay, let's check out the W on B on Bitcoin in the closer time frame. So Bitcoin. I'm not really seeing a W pattern here like it's not it looked like an inverse head and shoulders but that has failed it just dropped out of that inverse head and shoulders so that's nullified normally an inverse head and shoulders is like this you're doing a, a pattern like this is an inverse head and shoulders you could do it from here this is left shoulder right shoulder the head um, but it's not really it's not such a good one but it's kind of weird one that would have been an inverse head and shoulders but it's now broken to the downside. If we go closer, I'm not seeing any real, we've got an M pattern, a weird M pattern. Daily would be the support. Oh no, this isn't Bitcoin. Oh, this is Binance. Let's check out Bitcoin, sorry. Okay, Bitcoin. Hmm. You're saying this is a W pattern? It doesn't. I wouldn't say that too much. But we got a big bounce off the daily. Look at that. It came almost perfectly the daily. That was actually a good point to be getting a long on. But opening a long here is good until it breaks. 20,000. So you can do a very tight stop long here. It has so much support. 20,080. But I think if 20,000 breaks, there'll just be so much panic. Yeah, that's the thing. All the big Ws, inverse head and shoulders... They're all breaking to the downside. So it's just in a very big downstream, everyone. Um, live stream, I love it. Keep making these. Thank you, Moshi, MCRT to the moon. Our team is building MCRT and it's looking epic. I can't wait to show you. The, the MVP is coming very soon. So the first playable version. Uh, what are your thoughts on Gala? I don't know. I didn't. I haven't followed Gala too much. We can check Gala. Let's, um, let's look at Gala's financials. Gala USDT daily. Ooh, that looks like a double bottom on Gala with volume. So you had you had a you had a big bounce here on Lunar Crash, big bounce here with volume. So that's a confirmed double bottom. As long as Bitcoin can hold 20k, that's a double bottom on Gala. 
and everything heading up, stochastic, squeeze mob. Let's look on the weekly. On the weekly, Gala has support, a lot of support here. Gala actually looks pretty good. On the daily, a lot of support on Gala here with a double bottom formation, with stochastic and RSI oversold heading up. Nice, but what's the what's the market cap? Can someone check the market cap of Gala? Gala is nice to actually go long here. Opening a long on Gala, stop loss just below where it wicked down, and take profit on the monthly resistance. That's a trade you could actually take on Gala. <laughs> this one here. So it's a 49% without leverage trade. So 10x, it's 490% profit. That's a trade that can be taken on Gala. I'm actually going to, but it, again, yeah, I'm going to take this trade. This is nice. That looks like a double bottom and very tight stop loss. So I don't risk much. I only risk, if I put it here, I'm risking around 12%. Let's see, 48, 55, 55, 55 to 48. So risking 70 cent, 7 cents to make, risking 7 cents to make 27 cents. That's a pretty good trade. Let's see if Buy Bybit has Gala. Gala. Yep, Gala USDT. Okay, we can open along here. Let's go time. I'm going to go closer time frames on the hourly to see if we're going to have a pullback. You're watching me trade it live. Gala just had a big pullback right now. Stochastic RSI turning down on the hourly. So we've got more of a drop on the four hourly also turning down but oversold on the daily very oversold. So Gala is trying to pull back right now on the 15 minute also pulling back. So opening a long where, where you could open the long on Gala is here. And stop loss just below this major support area. That's a potential trade on Gala. Okay, I'm going to open this trade. So opening it at 55 cents. Stop loss at 49 cents 83. So order price 50, uh, 0.55 cents. Take, I'll do a $200 trade with 10x leverage. Take profit is going to be 49.83 will be the stop loss and take profit 82.7. So 0 0.49, uh, 49.83 and take profit will be 0, 0 0.8272. Oh, 0 0.049 and 0 0.82. So 0 0.49. Zero four nine eight three stop loss zero four nine eight three zero four nine eight three and take profit at eighty two seven zero point eighty two seven so that's risking two hundred and twenty two dollars to make nine hundred and forty nine dollars that's nice five ratio trade confirmed but let's do a smaller one let's do so that way I'm risking I'm risking $100 to make $500 with 10x leverage. Let's, yeah. Open long. It's coming down to that 55 cents very quick. Hmm. Could actually do it here. Because it pulled back 54.32 opening it. 54.32. Risking 82 to make 522. Let's yeah, let's do 200 dollars. 10x leverage, 2000 dollar trade. Confirm. Open. So I'm risking risking 163 dollars to make 1000 dollars profit on Gala. That trade is now set. So it's it's either going to liquid, it's going to stop me, stop loss me. I could actually lift the stop loss to here. Zero five zero zero zero. So. I can modify the stop loss here zero five 
0503. So risking 146 to make a thousand. That's a really nice trade. So that's set. And now I'm going to set an alert so then I get notified whether it closes the trade at alert or whether it hits my take profit. Add alert. So I set another trade there, which is beautiful. Could you all see that trade? It's, I know it's, it's a little bit, you have to be very careful going long here. Most longs are gonna fail if Bitcoin breaks the 20K. But I'm, I'm, why I'm doing this is because if I'm risking so small amounts, like $30 to make $1,000, you know, it's really good return on ratio. Or $100 to make, it's amazing. Um, the progress, we're building the MVP for MagicCraft. They're integrating crypto with all our smart contract developers integrating crypto. Um, the gold will be crypto, so the gold will be MCRT. We've got a lot of cool stuff coming for MCRT. It's going to be epic. And in play to earn games, they, it doesn't matter about, in my opinion, the, the bear market. Because in the long run, no one is going to play and not play to earn game. If you can play a game and earn real money, you're not going to play, and it's a really good game, you're not going to play other games that don't earn money so play to earn game is going to be massive ape and tesla please let's check out ape we may never get ever get in this price that's the thing i'm taking some longs here because if bitcoin does hold here it's amazing potential thank you man my beard is og i went just now i opened a long um, I probably will be at the World Cup. I think there's some sponsorship stuff for the World Cup. It will be epic. And I VC'd, I seed invested a project um, called All Stars, which is partner doing some, they're doing something with um, foot, like soccer. So they're making like a soccer um, team betting, uh, player betting platform. Uh, MCRT is available on, on PancakeSwap, BitMart, Mexi. Mexi is one of the bigger exchanges. It's a pity I can't fully watch the live stream every time the customers come to buy things, but I want to watch the live stream. You can watch it again anytime after the live stream. It's loaded. And everyone, I'm doing my trades all on Bybit here. Um, you can see under this video, under the links on the description, you can see the link to Bybit. When you sign up, you get a bonus and you join this $8 million prize pool. So make sure, guys, this is only for one month or something. So let's, it's a massive prize pool. Also on Femex, there's a $50,000. Femex did a partnership with us where they're giving $50,000 away. My team is trying to get lots of partnerships. So they're giving, like we're asking them, give us money, give out, give out um, our audience money and then we'll do partnerships with you. So my team is doing amazing. They're doing a lot of giveaways. So make sure to jump on everything, guys. Okay, we've been talking for 47 minutes. I love you all. I hope you learned a lot here. Um, I'm gonna do these live streams more because these are epic. Now I, can, now I can do live streams. I just set it up on this phone, live streams and show trades, which is gonna be cool. We're gonna do so many live streams. I love you all. Thank you for watching. Can I join the prize pool if I already have Bybit account? Yes, but I, th I think you can, you just use this link down below. You can still, if you have a Bybit account, you can still join this trading team. Um, that's the link down below in the description pinned comment. And the master course is also down there, everyone. You can learn everything I'm teaching here. I had, we have more than 6,500 students actually. And uh, by the way, comment on every video because my team, so this guy, Dean, congratulations. My team picked $200 giveaway. Um, appreciate your time. Saved a lot of money on this waterfall. My team also picked um, recently shortcuts. You got $200. Vincent, you got $200. So my team is going to be doing a lot of giveaways. Anyone that comments on any video goes in the chance to win $200. Every month, there's going to be five winners. $1,000 given away every single month. Love you all. Have an amazing day. And I'll see you all again tomorrow.